Hello. I was about to go to bed, but apparently there was figure announcements today, and so I've decided I will cover them. The event is Good Smile's Wonderful Hobby Life for You 33. I don't know why this event happened today. I'm like pretty confident that these usually only happen during Wonder Festival. I want to keep this one short because one, I kind of want to go to bed. And two, I think a lot of these are just updates of things we saw last time. So if you're more curious for a, a deeper dive into some stuff, then check out my Wonder Festival coverage. And with that out of the way, this is gorgeous. Surely it's got to be really expensive, but ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I think the snuff is in mostly the same order as last time. So initially there's just a lot of Hollow Live stuff and VTuber stuff. A lot of these Nendos are really cute. I'm not going to really touch on any of them, but they are what they are. Tons of pop-up parades. Korone, she's very cute. But yeah, kind of just a bunch of Hollow Live stuff. Now is the fake Granddaughter section. This Okita figure looks kind of weird. I don't know why she's on like this runway or whatever. Kind of a weird one, in my opinion. This Hokusai I don't think was painted before. And now that I can see it with like all of the... The colors and things, like, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. It's probably expensive. <laughs> that's a really cool sculpt. I'm not the biggest fan of this character. However, this is one of the um, the aquamarine figures that Good Smile has picked up. Sable Lily with balloons. I'm pretty sure they already have Proto Arthur doing the same thing, right? Kama? Is that actually her name? I think it's Google translating this. I don't know if that's correct. This uh, this primed figma with the the red cape looks really strange. I I wonder if they'll do the horse with this as well as like a deluxe version because I imagine that would get very expensive. The Zerka Musashi, whatever the hell that is. Cast a Merlin. She looks a bit more smug than I expected, especially based off the art we saw last time. I accidentally broke my Merlin like a long time ago I think and I, I didn't realize that he was broken until recently. Maybe I can justify getting her. She's she's so precious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mysterious Cat X. These look like the original Nendoroids. Which are terrible. Some more pop up parades. Figma Rider. Chloe scale. I imagine there's a Ilya to go with this. Now we've hit the Necropire section. Just, uh, I think some more stuff that was announced last time now has prototypes. Chocolate swimsuit, vanilla made swimsuit, god, like why? Why do these keep existing? At least this one looks interesting. They're finally doing the Shinobu Nendoroid from Demon Slayer. She's cute, just how I expected. Um, I think her face looks a little bit off but maybe that's just how her mouth always is. I still might get her. She's basically the only character I still care about that I don't have a Nendo for, so she's got that going for her. Google Translate trying to do Zenitsu's name, Azuma Zeni. This is like some Inosuke level name goal, what the hell? <laughs> Speaking of, there's his pop-up parade. Looks all right. Then a handful of Jujutsu Kaisen pop-up parades. Which leads into, like, maybe the weirdest thing GSC has done recently. Which is introducing this new line of Nendoroids called Nendoroid Swatchow. They did put out some more information on these in their blog post that went up maybe a week ago. The blurb on the blog says, Nendoroid Swatchow is a new yet familiar easy-to-collect Nendoroid series. These new city Nendoroids can easily be lined up and displayed on your desk or other spaces. They can even be displayed on the edges of furniture, so enjoy collecting them and displaying them everywhere. Personally, I think they look ridiculous. As far as I can tell, they don't stand up at all, they just sit. And like, the, the back of the chair comes off so you can put them on a flat surface, like this one. Is there really a market for this? I can understand Nendoroid dolls. 
and especially since the proportions are different, they bring something new to Nendoroids. But this is just sitting. Like, they can do this with normal Nendoroids. They're just stuck on these gross chairs. I don't... So it seems like they're just going to be, like, re-releasing Miku, these Haikyuu guys. These are going to go up for pre-order in July, so I might talk about it more then. But it seems like... They're not going to come with any accessories. They're just going to be sitting. And then you might have, like, some extra arms, maybe. Which seems like terrible value. They're also making available part sets. So if you own the original, you can just add on the chair piece and the extra legs. L- let me know if you think this makes any sense. Because I-, I honestly don't get it. And if this means we don't get, like, sitting poses as part of normal Nendos anymore, then that's going to be a pretty bad experience. So yeah, Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki all getting sitting Nendos, but God knows why. And then your boy, Potatoes, from Pui Pui Molka. This is great. I haven't watched Pui Pui Molka, but the fact that this exists makes me happy. I want to know what accessories it'll come with, but it's probably just like a carrot for its mouth or something, right? Some fairy tale pop-up parades, fairy tale Nendo. He looks kind of cute, actually. Don't mind Natsu. Yet another ass in a scale. And we now have the prototype for Nia from Xenoblade 2. This is one of my favorite announcements from Wonder Festival. Seeing the sculpt, I am now tempering my expectations. I was hoping she'd fit in really well with Pyra and Mithra, but it seems she's kind of just, like, standing there. The colouring might save it for me, but I know they're going to be asking a lot of money for this, and I probably can't justify it after buying the other two girls. Which is a shame, because I lost my mind when I saw this initially. <laughs> Onto some Nier stuff. There's colour prototype for the A2 Nendoroid, and Kaine from Nier Replicant. I really hope Kaine turns out good. This makes me wonder, is there an Emil Nendo? Like, surely. Surely he has to exist, right? I looked it up and Emil has been announced. If I get anyone in the near series, it, it might just be him, just because he is so iconic. I think Sakuna here was also announced at the last event, but I reserve my judgement on her until she goes up for pre-order. I assume she'll look quite a bit better. Here's the Atelier section. We've got... Swimsuit riser, Figma riser, Thizer riser. Lila did doing this kick in a swimsuit pose, which looks kind of sussy. I believe this is the Genshin main characters. They look very, very cute. I actually tried Genshin last week after, I think, saying I should play it for months. I'm not really a fan of the game, so I'm not going to play it. But I may still convince myself to buy Genshin figures. There's also... This fella, who looks very cute. This Nendo looks like they're reusing the wedding dresses from the blind boxes. <laughs> I'm sure they're not actually just <laughs> using the same body, but at first glance it definitely looks like it. Apparently Aquamarine was making a one-fourth scale of Begami in a swimsuit. God bless Good Smell Company, am I right? Bunch of Shaman King stuff, Nandoroid, Figma, Figma. Vinny Vinny baby? <laughs> Vinny Vinny baby <laughs> Is that the actual product name? <laughs> There's more <laughs> Ooh, Token Ranbu We're definitely in the Fujoshi part of the gallery We've got Idolish 7, Tokyo Revengers Burning Kabaddi Ooh That's cool I think this looks way better than the other Blackrock shooter figure that went up for pre-order, I think, recently. This one has a lot of presents. There's, like, stuff going everywhere, and I think it's very cleverly put together. The The way they've done this rubble, it looks like it's actually floating, but you can see, like, it's attached to her foot here and stuff. Like, I can imagine it might be kind of sus, and they'll need, like, some support arms, but... Ooh, seeing that colored is gonna be nice. Miku... What is this? Hatsune Miku NT? They made Miku look cuter somehow. That might be the cutest Miku face they've ever done. Apparently Aquamarine were doing a 1-7 scale of 
the 2013 Racing Miku, even if they didn't go bankrupt, it would have been nearly 10 years since this figure would have been relevant. Pretty sure we saw this one last time. That's just a lot of stuff going on, as I said. It's it's too busy. <laughs> Way too busy. Oh, man. Take a look at this one. I think it's just based off an illustration, but it's called The Ghost Bride, and it's enormous. That is immense. And intense. Intensely immense. Immensely intense. Immensing intensifies. Just, wow. I can't even start to imagine how much this is going to cost. I think this is probably the coolest figure in this gallery. For anyone who hated that random Nadia figure that went up for pre-order a few months ago, she's got a Nendo now, which looks a lot more respectable. Now for a bunch of stuff I have no idea about. I do like these character designs. It's from some Godzilla thing, so... Might be alright. Minnie Mouse, what up? Chip and Dale, Donald Duck! Ah, uh, what? Dol Nezuko isn't real. She can't hurt you. Oh god, there's more. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's cute. Cute, definitely cute. Well, she's not shooting people with huge guns. Why are you making this figure? That no one cares. <laughs> I'm a big Simpho Gear fan and I don't care. I don't, no one cares, right? That's pretty. What's up with this acrylic backplate? I like how it frames the figure, but surely it's just gonna look terrible in the final product. Some girl from 86. That's a show I've heard about. More Toho figures. I... God, these are cool. And I want to see it painted, because it kind of looks weird without paint on it. This is so precious. I don't know who this is, but I want to protect them. And that's Pop-Up Parade of Shiro from No Game No Life. I think this might look really, really nice. The only issue is the pole sticking out of her hair kind of just kills it. <laughs> I know a lot of people who will be happy about this. Zagreus from Hades getting a Pop-Up Parade. That's not something I ever really expected, considering Supergiant is as small as they are. I like that the picks for the gaming pop-up parades are stilted more towards these either indie or niche titles, like the Journey one. I can imagine we'll see tons of pop-up parades in stores like GameStop or whatever, like wherever people sell games and pop vinyls and stuff. I think they chose the word pop to... Pull on the pop vinyl crowd. I wonder. I wonder. There's also one of Yasuke. Now we're in like the definitely Western IP section, and I don't think anyone really cares. Does anyone care about Batman Nendo? Is that a new thing? What about this creepy looking Joker? What's wrong with his mouth? His coat doesn't even line up in the prototype. It's awful. They should stop doing coats like that. There's a ton more Nendoro dolls coming out. There's Black Butler, Kaguya-sama, Sh Shadow's House, I've never heard of, and ReZero. It's nice to see Ram get a scale. I really like the effect parts here. This is a really nice figure. There's some great detailing on it as well. More Jojo Nendos. We've got Narancia and Fugo and Kaz and Jolene. Yes, Jolene! Some more freeing bunnies. Kaguya, who I didn't know anyone wanted to loot like that. And um, old mate from Toradora. What's her name? Tiger. Bofree Nendos. Very, very cute. Uh, Bofree Scale. Another Kurumi. God, please stop. Very interesting looking Aqua in a kimono. Wing is doing some Yuru Camp scales. I actually really... Enjoy this Chiaki scale. I feel like this might be her first. I like the shading and stuff here. I think it really captures the character quite well. They're also doing Anna and Chikoa, which is super adorable. With this Marth scale, I assume this is to match the Ike. I didn't know they were doing this, but that's that's really cool. I like it. Of dolls, frontline scales, 8K12 and VSK94. Princess Connect Nendos. I love her colors. I always have. I always will. And I like her elf ears. They're very adorable. Peko, not so much. 
Like her face looks kind of weird. <laughs> but she's also getting a bikini scale. So there you go. Ooh, Figma horse. Yes, Figma horse. This is what you can put your Figma Lancer Ultria on. You know, they don't need to make a separate horse. They got this one. <laughs> Android skateboard, yes, go, 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 go. I still don't understand why they're making them, but I am happy that they are. Nendoroid bean cushion? Why? And then the, yeah, there's the Nendoroid container. I think they talked about that last time as well. It's definitely a box with a lot of boxy detail on it. The last three things in this gallery are pretty cool. They are Motoroid flame effect, wind effect, and aqua effect. You don't have to use these with a model kit at all. You can pose these with like a scale or a figma or a, or a nendo and get a really cool effect with it. And they shouldn't be too expensive. If you really like effect parts like I do, it might be worth investing in some of these either for photography or just for displaying them with, with figures. That's gonna do it for this gallery. I hope I didn't miss anything else since I nearly missed this entire event. But I hope this was informative. Hope you enjoyed watching. And I'm going to bed. Bye.